Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Buzz. I'm your host, Brad. Today we're going to talk briefly about how strategy is also choosing what not to do. Right? So during our strategy calls with clients, and a lot of you are working with amazing coaches and consultants and all this great stuff, we always think that strategy is like, what do we implement? What do we try new? What fresh ideas can we bring to the table? Strategy is also what not to do. Right? So maybe you're tempted to like start posting a little bit on TikTok that might not be the best strategy when there hasn't been a post on Facebook for months at a time, right? Maybe you're um, considering investing 20 grand in a magazine that no one reads when maybe that should be focused more on team training or painting the office or getting a new website, whatever it is, right? We all understand that like sometimes the decision to not answer the phone at the practice is also your strategy, right? And so start thinking also when you're strategizing either as a team or with your consultant or on your own, it's not always what to do that's fresh and innovative. It's also what to stop doing or to say no to because that's really powerful and that will open you up to more opportunities moving forward when you're not stuck in the weeds of things that you shouldn't have said yes to in the first place. So that's my little plug for being uh, strategic and bringing the right type of strategery to your dental practice marketing. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Buzz. Um, if you follow this suggestion and understand that strategy is not only what you say yes to, but what you say no to, you without question have way more marketing success, practice profitability, but most importantly, you'll be a wizard of Buzz. Create stunning commercials in minutes with Waymark High Performance Video Templates. Now anyone can make premium videos fast. To start your first month for free, please visit waymark.com dental.